Okay, hi, and welcome to my Lee's Bungee Q tutorial. This is how you set up Lee's Bungee Q. Um, a lot of people have not been, like, they don't understand how to set it up, and it's really not that hard, but people want a tutorial video, so I'll, set, I'll make you one right now. So, basically, it's so simple. Like, once you, when, like, once you see how simple it is, it's, it's ridiculous. So, how it works is the plugin is made for bungee cord or waterfall. I recommend waterfall, but personally, I use this thing called flame cord because it patches some exploits. I'll leave the link in the description. It's free. You just need to make an account on here. I'll, I'll just put a jar file. I'll, I'll update the Q plugins pre-made proxy on here. I have it. One second, I'm going to close my graph. Actually, no, no, I'm going to leave it open, but you'll download this. And then I'll just put it in here. Oh, I already have these things in there, but you'll download these two. This, the proxy has an MOT, oops, wrong link. The proxy has an MOTD plugin. The proxy is basically just bungee cord or waterfall, but it's using waterfall. Uh, it's it's a using outdated version, so I recommend you update it because you always want to stay on top of the latest version of that kind of stuff because there could be an, a huge exploit. This is why I use this. But anyways, so how it works is you would, you would take the plugin once you downloaded it and then it's already actually if you're gonna this is a, this is only if you're using the pre-made proxy all you gotta do is come in here edit this this is a configure wiring off of bungee cord uh, no. then you would just put your servers in here so my server is cracked so I have an authentication server but how this Q plugin works is it takes a player count of the entire bungee cord and it cuts it if it's, re it's over a certain amount, then it starts putting people in the queue. So you can have multiple servers behind there, like the authentication server, like how I have it, and then it'll just add the player count of both the main server and the authentication server. And then if it's equal to more than how the maximum you want on the in the queue, if it's, if it's more than how the maximum amount set in the queue plugin, then it will put them in the queue, and it will, and that's how it works. So you can have like say an a separate authentication server, like on like on here, like on six B. You would just do this. I'll just go to my test account. So I'm gonna go to this account. I'm gonna test account 69. There we go. You go in here. This is this is a separate server from the main server. It's an authentication server, and then it would send them to the main server once they log in. But this then if this if this and the player count of this server and the main server combine, or more than the set them out in the queue plugin then they get put in the queue and they'll have to wait to join here and then it will always get sent here first just so you know but anyways so you don't need this I if your server's not cracked you don't need this so you can just remove it and then you would also up here change this to just to, to 6360 or whatever you want to call it your main server but I'm keeping it like this because it's my server's cracked Either way, it doesn't matter, but make sure that if you're not using this, then you set that to the your main server's name in the config. Then, if you want, make sure to remove this. I forgot to remove that, and I have admin on your server. It's not really my problem. <laughs> Just remove it. And then, this. So you would start that. Oh, yeah, right. We're going to go to Q plugin config right here. It's really simple. So, all you got to do is change all the messages in here. This here is the maximum amount of people that are allowed in the queue server. I keep this at the default. This is, I have this set to 100 on 6B. So that means only 100 people are allowed to go into both the authentication server and the main server. So if there's more than 100 combined on both servers. So if say like, say like there's like 10 on the auth server and then there's like uh, 90 on the main server and this is set to 100, then anyone who joins after those people will be sent to the queue. This is just don't fuck with this. Don't fuck with that. Um, and pretty much that's pretty. That's how simple it is. Oh yeah, you would just set the queue server's name here, and that's pretty much it. And then you would have, if just so you know, when you set, when you add your main server to the bungee cord config, make sure that. Uh, online mode on the main server and the queue server are both set to false and then you go to spigot yml and change bungee bungee mode where we call it bungee cord to true and then on both on all the servers that you put behind, in a bungee cord and you also in server.property set network compression threshold 
right here, you set network compression threshold to minus one if you want them to have a good ping. And then on the proxy, you would set it to 64. That's how I have it. It uses more CPU, but it makes people have a better ping. So that's how I do it. And then also, if you're not a crack server and you're using my pre-made proxy, please make sure you change, um, what do you call it? Online mode to true or you'll have fucking your server will be backdoored. Make sure you change it to true, okay? Don't fuck that up because this is all made for my server and I'm just providing it publicly because why not? And people want people have wanted this plugin, a plugin like this. And then that's pretty much it. So I'll show you an example of how it will look. I'm just gonna set uh, the you know I'll just I'll just use boss I think I don't know. But oh, yeah, I'm gonna start it. So this is the proxy. And this is the main server. I'm gonna run out of RAM on my computer when I do this, but whatever. It's fucking retarded. I need to upgrade my RAM. So this is that. And then this is the queue. Right down there. It's really simple to configure. So how it works is this server would be the one that people connect to and then make sure these are all the other servers like the queue, the auth, if you have a prox server, you don't have an auth server, just remove it from the config and then set that to true and you know what I mean. And then the queue server, make sure they're all, they all have network compression threshold minus one and they're all in bungee mode. Bungie Core is set to true and spigot YML and that it, they're all in offline mode and then if you have a premium server. Make sure the bungee cord or waterfall server, the proxy as I call it, is in online mode if your server's not cracked. And also if you're doing the proxy from scratch, make sure you have force default server true and you have under priorities, you have the main server only or the, the authentication server only. If you have it's if you have um, like I, if you have a crack server and using this plugin, I recommend you have an authentication server because off me is fucking retarded and it uses a lot of your fucking server's resources and it's better to have it on a separate server than have it on the same server as the one they're playing on because I've had issues with that in the past where there's fucking massive lag spikes you don't want that so anyways we're gonna go here localhost and we're gonna go in here so now it's gonna ask me to log in or register or whatever I just register and I'm in and I'm on my test account so I'm going to set up the bots. Uh, if you need this bot tool, I can't. I don't think I could provide it on YouTube because they're probably going to get mad at me for that. But this is the one I use. Let's Google it. And I do this. This is just this is a crack bot tool only, so it only works with crack bots. But then I do that. And I do, let's, do, let's just do 200, and then we'll do bot. We'll call it. Poggers, do that, boom, and then they'll start logging in. Like that, and once it reaches 70, you'll see there's a queue. As like I said, on my server I use flame cord. I don't Flame Core patches a few things and I recommend using it. And here we go. Let's reach 70. Well, some of them got stuck in the authentication server, but that's still. And as you can see, when you log in, it'll put you in the queue. There you go, see? And I don't have priority queue on this account, but. Also, I recommend you use the, the, the permissions plugin. Don't use Lucky Perms. Luck Perms is dog shit. I know it seems all fancy, but it's fucking not worth your time. It's retarded. Anyone who uses Luck Perms is stupid. All you need to do is set up tabx.io, and I'm not going to go through that. That's not something I'm, I'm helping you with. But use the permissions plugin that I provide in my fucking pre made proxy. It's the best permissions plugin, in my opinion, for Bungie Cord. Uh, Luck Perms is dog shit, and you don't need it. And then, um, yeah, if you don't want to use my proxy, I understand, but just use my queue server because it's way, it's already pre-set up, it works perfect, there's nothing wrong with it, 
And as you can see, the, the queue is working fine, and I'll disconnect the boss, and then I'll be sent to the auth server like that. See, look? Then I get sent to the auth server, and then it, because uh, I have sessions turned on, it automatically connects me, because I, uh, I, uh, my IP didn't change. So, yeah. If you need help with the authentication server, I can also put that on there, but it would have to be like a, um, just ask me, just DM me on Discord, Lee7926, DM me, or add me, and I'll help you set up the, the authentication server, you have a crack server, but if you don't, you don't need it, you just remove it from my config, and then also set online mode to true on, on the proxy, and then, like I said before, server dot, server, in server.property set the online mode to false on all the servers that aren't the proxy, and then also network compression threshold minus one, and then on the proxy, network compression threshold is, is 64. And oh, also I forgot to mention, turn off all like connection throttling things. Don't don't throttle the connection. Just let them log in as fast as they want. And if you're using an anti-bot, I highly suggest you just use my anti-bot if you have a crack server and you put it on the on the off server like I do on 6B. And then also, the, the reason why you shouldn't use connection throttling is because if someone YouTuber says to raid your server or something like that, then they're all going to be like, there's, they can't get in. Like Tubi, you can. They all. There's no connection throwing. They all connect at once. It's, this plugin is designed to handle that. As long as your limit, don't do something ridiculous like make your limit like 200. This, unless you're fucking Tubi TT, you can't handle that. I, I, don't, I don't know any fucking actual server that can handle that without a low ass TPS and lag from all the people logging in. Anyways, thanks for watching. And hope this you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just DM me on Discord. My Discord is in the description, and I also have a Discord server in there that I can, you can get support from me and other people who know a lot about this plugin. Thanks for watching.